So you want to become a pro mixing engineer, but the first thing you forgot is your because you have such a short attention span. I check my, my stats, you guys, like I, I start my video and I'm like, listen up, this is very important. And right away, like I lose 50% of viewers, man. This video is gonna be really important. Don't check the comment section, just listen to the whole video before you comment something. If you guys want us to show like exactly how we mix that project, it's a, gonna be a really long video, but it can be a really complete one. I just wanna make sure that you guys are interested in watching that. If I get six comments, comments let's say that say do it in the comment section then uh i'll do it also don't forget guys we're gonna do live mixes of your mixes we're gonna make videos on them showcasing exactly what we do all you have to do is join our telegram the link is in the description below in the pink here i have every single one of other mixes that were done by other people in the yellow i have the raw mix how it came i have a gray one which is basically a reference mix that is included that was the case for every single one of those pink mixes and the purple one is basically our mix here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna compare uh those mixes with the raw and the reference so the first one is gilby glober mix so that's why i'm saying the importance of a reference mix because in no possible universe i would have had that reference mix inside my project mixed my project then listen to the reference mix and not retouch it there's always something more i can add and the fact is during that mix i really done some things maybe three maybe even four times let's go down the list now this mix is by na one more feeling that i know but i just can't find So he tried to make it brighter. The fact is, though, it's kind of harsh. And for a country, I think it lacks a lot of warmness, a lot of body. The drums aren't punching. Now let's go to Sergio Katana. His mix. One for a feeling that I know, but I just can't find. I don't want to be a fool flying into the hand. One for a feeling that I know, but I just... So it's lacking a lot of low end that one. Let's listen to this one by Hideaki the Mikado. So this one, it has a nice low end, but it's lacking, like it has too much compression. I think the vocal is muddy and a little, little things. So you get the gist. Let me just play the two other mixes now. You know, like for the, those two last examples, let's just compare with the raw one. You know, like even then, like the raw, I like the warmth better in the raw version. Like the low end is improved, uh, but so it goes to say like, it's very, very, very important to reference yourself. If you're referring yourself only to the raw though, you're referring yourself downwards. Like you're just trying to improve, comparing yourself to something that is worse. If you're referring yourself to a good mix, a reference mix, then you're basically measuring yourself up to something. So that's the big difference there. And you're not obliged to have the exact same song you can pick a similar song a mix that you really really like and it can open your eyes a mix is really subjective right so when i was hearing this i was just like what can i improve and so i had uh so i improved some of that clarity it's a bit my mix is a bit more clear in my opinion that sacrifices maybe for some warmness there's nothing wrong with that mix it sounds really good let's listen to the reference mix that was included in the project again Let's listen to another part. So 
So as you can see, all I did, I sacrificed maybe a little warmness because I translated uh, it to maybe a little muddiness. So it's a bit clearer. It's a slight improvement in some parts, but that only can happen if you have a reference mix. If you're referring yourself again and again and again, don't forget guys, it's basically the most important tip you can hear in your life. It's really simple, but it, it changes everything. That's pretty much it. Piff, paff, boom.